Hey guys, in this video, this is going to be my very first Shein try on haul. You guys, this is something that I would never have done before, but she's trying to step out of her shell. Um, so yes, I tried on a couple outfits, a couple dresses that I purchased on my own. It's not sponsored in any way. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, bear with me. I am, I have never done this before. Um, I don't know how the angles or how the video will look, but I'm going to give it all I got. And, you know, if it's okay, if everything goes good, I will do another haul, try on haul. So, yeah, you guys, make sure you hit the like button. It's free. It don't cost you nothing. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? And make sure you comment. I need that engagement down in the comments. If you don't know who I am, my name is Erica Brene. Also, share this video out for your girl. You know, share, share, share. Um, and yeah, come along and let's get into this try on haul. Hey yeah, y'all, I just got um lipstick all over it. Excuse the poopa. But this is what it's given. So here's the yellow. Yeah, sit your girls up. Oh, I like this. Oh, y'all, look at me. I can't believe it. So I'm always going to have this. This is from where my surgery is, guys. I have a little bit of a hangover. And, oh, I see the girls. They're pushed up. So, yeah. So, yeah, here's the orange, you guys. So, again, with the right bra. We'll work it out with this dress, but this is the orange dress. And I love it. Y'all, it's long and I can I can ruch the uh -uh. there's a fly in here, girl. So I'm not gonna be able to sleep because there's a fly in here. Y'all, those of you that know me, no, I'm not gonna be able to do it. But yes, this is the black dress. And I showed you guys comes to right here. Girl, with some heels, yes, my real ones. But I ain't gonna be able to sleep it until this fly is captured, and he playing with me. Oh no, we can't do it. I had to get his ass. I can't sleep. Look, flies and shit. Okay, so we're going to go to the next. So this is the red short outfit. Okay. Um, I don't know about the shoulder pad thingies, but I do like. That I can show a little tummy, and it, even though it shows a little belly from time to time, it does suck me in a little bit. Camouflage it. <laughs> First look, the red short outfit. I can definitely feel like I feel like I could I could pull this off. You feel me? Like I don't feel too awkward, even with my. He said, "Fupa." Yes. Once I lift my booty up. Once I get this booty lifted, get them squats in. <laughs> I don't care what I like, how I like this one, but I got it and I'm gonna keep it. I'm definitely gonna wear it. But if you can see, and then there's the front. Just got like a little cutout on the side. So cute little day day uh lunch or something uh, something like that so here's oh i love this 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 is something that i, I would do and i wear this out with y'all i'm not gonna tell y'all no lie i like it it's black it doesn't show my gut and my gut's going down and so it's this and it has this little brood like rip right here so when it's down I got the perfect shoes to go with this. I love this. I got to get my ass to go up. I need to do something that lifts the ass. Because I got some. It's just flat because I've been sitting on it for so long now. I can get the more to go up. I have a, I have a bubble. I had that thing that you can sit on. You can set a glass on. You hear me? This, I guess it is. This is cute. It's a little bit shorter than I'm used to. Um, my kids will have a fit. <laughs> Mark would be like, uh-uh, where are you going in that? If, yeah. Every time you keep pulling it down, that means you ain't comfortable, right? So, yeah. It is. I love this, the, the colors on my skin, though. 
another little cute day dress. Oh, yes. I like the front. So we're going to get into the next one.
I'm headed to get my medicine and then I am going to get my son some socks. He needs some socks. I'm going to stop by um, TJ Maxx or something and get him some socks and then I'm going to go home and edit this video. I'm sorry. Like this car is acting real funny. Why is it shaking? Hold on, girls. Hold on to the girls. Hold on. Just want to make sure y'all ain't shaking and whatnot. And so, girls and guys, <laughs> let's talk, y'all. So, I've been trying to do this drive with me. So, you probably have several different clips of drive with me. Um, but we're doing the drive with me. So, we're doing the drive with me so that I can kind of catch up with you guys. Because I, I, since I uploaded the country style video... I probably, I have probably only uploaded maybe, um, which way do I want to go? I'm going to go straight. I don't want to die that way. So, um, I probably have only, um, uploaded three videos, I believe. I think we did like two lives and I think we got, I think I may, oh, okay, they got a little heat of things. I think I'm, I'm sorry, y'all, let me fix this. So yeah, I think I may have gotten three videos, right? And so we're saying that, um, I'm sorry, I do apologize to you guys, but life has just been life in y'all. Like, your girl just trying to get um, accustomed to, um, you know, like, again, being alone. I have been a we for so very long, you guys, like forever. <laughs> so as I told you, it's been 22 years on and off. Now, this last time, it was a stretch of nine years. Um, so, you know, even on the times that we've separated in the past, uh, even on he may have been seeing several ladies, I might have been seeing somebody else at the time, but we've always remained friends because we're actual friends you know what i mean so i think that's what kind of helps and is helping right now i'm sorry y'all 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 a bouncy mess these roads don't help and the roads don't help but um so yeah so i think that's what helps you know um the fact that you know we 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 had we have and i have always had a friendship first you know what i mean so that I, I believe that to be a true blessing you hear me and what else is going on um i think i told you guys this as well in a previous clip on the other days that i've been trying to get these these drive me's done um i am moving i've had four owners on my house in the last um year four owners in the last year I feel as though that's just kind of a sign for me. <laughs> so I'm going to be moving at the beginning of the year. I Again, guys, I don't know if it's the actual move to Florida or or what, but because of my situation, the separation and everything, I am doing this, I will be doing this on my own. So I feel, though, I feel as though I probably need another year to, you know, kind of get my credit back together um, and all that good stuff, you know what I mean? So, um, I think that's what I'm going to do. Probably go to an apartment, you know. So, when my son was born, I had a little townhouse. I was staying in a little townhouse. And after he was born, um, I moved into a, a house and we've been living in houses ever since. So, it, it's going to be a change for my son um, and for me too you know like I said I haven't lived in an apartment in, in a very very long time so it's changed if I have to stay in Indiana which like I said told just told you guys nine times out of ten I, I have to do another year here unless um, y'all bless your girl and somebody y'all start sharing these videos out and I go viral on a couple of them or, or whatever you know what I'm saying um that would help <laughs> but it okay that would help but if not um i definitely definitely need another year 
um, you know, after the the split in February between me and my ex, um, I've just been kind of, like I told y'all, just kind of getting to know myself a little bit more. Like, a lot of my likes over the last 10 years or so have been our likes. You get what I'm saying? Stuff that we like. Um, what I'm trying to figure out what do I like? You know what I mean? What do I like to do? Um, where do I, you know, just again, getting to know me, you guys. Like, this is different. Like, <laughs> so completely different. Single life is really, really different. Um, I'm having fun, though. Um, I am having fun. So, anyway, moving on. Also, what else did I want to talk to y'all about? Oh, your girl, I told y'all. So, I gained, um, I got on the scale today. It said 176. Um, I'm so disappointed about that. But I believe the last update I gave you guys, uh, I don't know. I think I might have hit 173. Did I tell y'all about that? That I hit 173. Um, I hit 173 back in uh, July, I want to say, something like that. And I don't know, y'all. I, I just got, I don't know what happened. I was doing so good. I was uh, walking and I was, I went on vacation. I know what happened. See? I went on vacation. Let's just, just keep it a buck. So, oh God, I want to talk to y'all. I think, should that be a, a different sit down? I want to get me some wine, honey, and sit down and tell y'all kind of what happened. Um, but anyway, I had a trip. I went on a trip. I think you guys, you seen it in Steph's video. Anywho, um, I went on a trip that was planned by my ex in, it, uh, in, sept in September, and it was a shit show was a shit show on the aspect of it just kind of made things clear for me you know what I mean it was already clear but let's be honest this is someone who's been in my life for a very very long time so it was I just don't I, I wanted to make sure that I had done everything in my power to keep the relationship together and our family as it was before together right it's like I said we're we're good friends we're friends, and that's that's where it needs to be. Um, so yeah, I want to. I, I'm. I ain't getting ready to go into all of what happened on the trip. We didn't argue or or anything like that. It was just literally a shit show, and it's it, it was something that was like, okay, what could go wrong on that trip actually went wrong. I'm saying, and for me, that was like a sign. Like, damn, like are you serious like are you serious that like, i mean everything even shit that stuff that i you wouldn't think that i that could happen happen like i was just like wow things that a routine i when i when i land in florida you guys i have a routine rain snow sleet and shine i might do new stuff that i've never done before but your girl has a routine so when i get off the airport when i land at orlando uh, international airport. I get my baggage. I typically find, uh, have check bags um, or a check bag because it's typically just me. Um, and so I'll, when we land, I collect my luggage. Um, I'll get my, my rental. It's normally, always, always, nine times out of ten, I'm in a pickup truck when I'm down there, right? Depending on what time I'm landing, I might go ahead and check into the hotel. And then once I check in, I typically shoot to the Wawa because I'm hungry, um, you know, stuff like that. Like I ha haven't eaten, I've been on the flight for a couple hours type things. And typically I'm flying at night. So when I'm coming through the airport, you know, like restaurants and stuff are closed. So Wawa is the spot for your girl. It was a short trip. The stuff that I usually have planned out for over a few days, it, you know, happened in two days. So we got there Thursday night, Friday, Saturday. We flew out Sunday evening. So we was there pretty much all Sunday. Friday, we already had plans. Uh, we had plans with my bestie. Um, Y'all seen that. Um, we went out that evening, met up with some other ladies and stuff like that. Well, here's the thing. What I think kind of threw it off is everybody I met up with was couples, right? And although me and my ex was there together. We wasn't there together. Does that make any sense? Oh, yeah. This, uh, 
So, even though me and my ex was there together, we wasn't there together. But shit, people think I'm crazy, probably. And so, with that being said, excuse me, um, it was very, very awkward, you know, with the, the couples. Why does this look? Okay, it doesn't matter. So, it was very, very awkward with the couples, y'all. It was, and for one, my best friend is Aries like me. So she needed to know. She needed to know some shit, right? <laughs> so what you doing? And wop de wop whoop, you get some, you know. So she put us put him on the spot with that and just to see. And you know, it was just like, oh well, you know, he just really didn't know what to say. And so finally I was just like, no, we're single. He's single, I'm single, we're just here. Because okay, I have to take those off. That sun was I was right. The sun the sun is going down and some it hits a certain yeah, that's what it was doing to you, girl. So, um, where was I at? Oh, we clarified that. Anyway, the whole trip was a shit show. Moving on. What else did we do? What else has been going on? Nothing. Like I said, I've been kind of depressed. What are we doing, sweetie? Been kind of depressed. Uh, working through that. Uh, I could have went there, but... <clears throat> so, for me, who do I talk to? You know what I mean? And it, it, it And I just go within... I do. I, I just go within and pray and talk to the Lord and, and he tells me to get up, you know, um, when, you know, once sometime, most of the time, all the time, not most of the time, sometimes, all the time, um, he tells me to get your ass up. You hear me? Get up, you know, um, but yeah, I be going through it, you guys. It's so hard. And, um, I'm trying to get unstuck. I'm not trying. I am getting unstuck. I just want so much in my life. And I know I can have it. I'm not old at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I'm older. I'm 41, but I ain't old or whatever. So, anyway, I'm finna go in here and grab my medicine. So, I can go home. Go back home and finish um, doing what I do. I was gonna get a bottle of wine, but I ain't, I ain't drinking tonight. I'm drinking. Oh, I bought me some apple cider. I'm drinking some apple cider. All right, y'all. I'm gonna call y'all back when I get back. Hey, you guys. I absolutely freaking sucked. They are closed. It's not even six o'clock. The pharmacy didn't close till six o'clock, but okay. Please don't nobody come behind me. I know y'all tired of me here. You hear me say that, but I, I told y'all I peeled off about three people. You hear me? I'm gonna go this way so I can hit that light and get to where I need to be. No, it ain't no shit. And then, okay, so yeah, I'm about to shoot over here and get my baby, oh, grab my baby some socks. Um, like I said, I did want to um, get my medicine, but I guess I'm going to have to get it tomorrow. That's cool. It gives me something to do. So I'm going to go get my baby socks, then I'm going to go home. I made um, a turkey loin. I slow cooked it all day with some peppers and onions, and then I threw some gravy on that boy. We're going to put it on top of some rice with some Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Although I haven't had a Excuse me. I haven't had an appetite, so I did a smoothie before I came out. Hopefully, um, because I was like, I was hungry. I was feeling hungry, y'all, but I nothing that I was like, mm -mm, that I could eat quickly, you know, um, I was feeling, so I just made a smoothie. So I guess I'm the only one. Girl, these people gonna make your girl cuss. You hear me? Yeah, I'm gonna go this way, so I'm not, because I don't want to get act ignorant with nobody and people people stupid so i'm gonna go in here and get these phone to go thingies i buy those so that i can pack sparkles and them shit and so they can get on out my house you feel me i buy those you know what i'm saying and my baby daddy too i'll make sure he's shit to go too so i'm hold on y'all i'll call y'all back can you see me so we're on our way oh shit i did something to my back i'm on my way home y'all i just went to the dollar tree and spent twenty dollars i went in there for some to go thing it's always something, huh? I'm going to go, y'all, because y'all can't see me. It done got dark. Can I go out this way? So, yeah, I'm going to call y'all back. So, I'm going the right way. These motherfuckers are going the wrong way. Excuse my French. I don't even call nobody m and but the shoe fits. Wear it. You hear me? 